we talked earlier about the top of the ticket and not being contested in the primary, uh, but it's certainly something that we want to continue to talk about because the real race is coming down the pipe. Of course, the person we're getting ready to talk with, he'll tell you that the race has been going on for a year now and we're just starting to get close to the home stretch. Uh, Mark Schauer, he is the Democratic candidate for governor and he is on the phone with us now. Mr. Schauer, can you hear us? Yes, how are you? I'm fine. Where are you tonight? Uh, which part of the state? I, I am in uh, the Serial City. I'm in Battle Creek at home this evening. Excellent. All right, very great, good. Great to have you with us tonight. Yeah. Uh, spend a couple of minutes. Uh, we had the, uh, the, the chairman of the respective uh, parties in the state, uh, Bobby Shostak for the Republican side and Lon Johnson for uh, the Democrats. They had, a, they had, they had a, a few spirit, moments. A spirited discussion. A, a, a back to back and a spirited discussion. And I'm sure uh, you are looking forward to having that same opportunity with the uh, incumbent governor in the uh, weeks and months ahead here. Well, we, we'd love to have uh, Channel 7 host a debate for us. Well, we're we'd certainly be glad to. <laughs> we're certainly, we're certainly going to uh, push for that uh, to happen, aren't we, Chuck? Absolutely, absolutely. We would love to be able to do that. Um, the polls have been closing up uh, from the polling that we did in May with Epic MRA and the Detroit Free Press, and then we tested it again in June. And then we just did a recent test, and it's showing that it's about three points. Now, what do you attribute that to, and is you, this just sort of a temporary fluke, and you think it's going to open back up, or you feel like you're really, uh, uh, people are starting to get to know Mark Shower now? Well, it's, it's really two things. I started the race eight or nine points behind. I think Epic MRA had me nine points behind in their last poll. And, look, Rick Snyder is universally known. He is an unpopular incumbent because he cut a billion dollars from public education, raised taxes on retiree pensions, all to give a big $1.8 billion corporate tax giveaway that's not working. I mean, we've got the third worst unemployment rate in the country. And so he has been stuck in like the, mid, the low to mid 40% uh, range. And I have been building um, my support and my polling numbers continue to go up as people get to know me and my vision for Michigan. It's a very different vision. You know, we're going to create a Michigan and create an economy that works for everyone, not just the wealthy. And we start by uh, investing in public education and, and repealing the Snyder job killing retirement tax. So that's exactly why we keep climbing in the polls. Rick Snyder's unpopular and people support uh, my vision and my values for Michigan. Yeah. Uh, proposal one, it is uh the one issue that's on the statewide ballot. Where do you stand on that issue? Uh, last time I checked, it sounded as though you and the governor might be on the same side of the fence. True or false? Yes. No, I, I support Proposal 1. It will be very interesting to see how this uh, turns out tonight. Look, my wife, Christine, used to own a small business and paid the personal property tax. Uh, it's a very inefficient, cumbersome uh, way to generate local revenue. Um, like I helped rescue the auto industry when I was in Congress. and. Big auto manufacturers and suppliers pay this tax on all of their equipment. It discourages investment and jobs, but we've got to replace uh, the money to local communities for police and fire and our schools and libraries. Proposal 1 intends to do that, um, so we'll see what happens tonight. What other issues, uh, Mr. Schauer, are going to be important in your mind? You mentioned jobs, certainly, the economy going forward, but the differentiate you uh, with this governor? Well, we, we, we've got to fix our roads here in Michigan. I mean, it, it really is a travesty that, uh, you know, we've got third world roads in the great state of Michigan. We're 50th out of 50 in uh, per capita spending on our roads. Rick Snyder has shown an inability and ineffective leadership to address this, uh, aside from fixing our schools and putting, um, repealing this job killing Snyder retirement tax. Uh, we've got to do a number of things to get our economy going and fixing our infrastructure is a great jobs program. I know how to do it. I know how to build consensus and compromise uh, in the legislature and I look forward to getting that done when I'm governor of this great state. All right. Mark Sauer. Great to have you, you uh, so join much. us tonight. Mark, thank you uh, so much. Uh, continued good luck to you on the, uh, on the campaign trail. We'll look forward to the weeks and, uh, and months ahead before November. Me too, Dave and Chuck. Thanks so much. Thank you so much for talking with us this evening. And we should probably say and emphasize that um, we have invited 
uh, Governor Snyder yes. to be a part of this broadcast. I think they're still working on it. There may be a chance. Um, he was on the other side of the state. Um, don't have him yet. Yep. He has been invited. We're hoping that before we go off the air that we'll have a chance to talk to the governor uh, just in fairness. Sure, the absolutely. Process Provide of what that we opportunity. Do. Absolutely. Polls have been hear. closed for a little over an hour now. Um, we're going to be on.